your reaching love and your slaughter to Anna. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Worship your holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never, Sing like never before. O oh my soul, I worship your In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We want to take a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, from verse 26 to 31. And it says, God said, Let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild animals, and all the creatures that creep along the ground. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and subdue it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and of all the living creatures that you that move on earth. God also said, Look, to you I give all the seed-bearing plants everywhere on the surface of the earth, and all the trees with seed-bearing fruit. This will be your food. And to all the wild animals, all the birds of heaven, and all the living creatures that creep along the ground, I give all the foliage of the plants as their food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. Evening came, and morning came the sixth day. And this is the word of God. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. So friends, today, our first day in the 30 days of thanking God and preparing ourselves to cross over in the next year, we want to thank God. We want to take some time to thank God for the gift of life. Many times we spend a lot of time, as we said yesterday, praying for so many things. We take a lot of time praying for uh, education, praying to get a better job, praying to build another house, praying to get other children, praying to, I don't know, travel far and near, praying to give, be so big and so great. And we forget the first and most important gift that God has given us. We forget to thank him that we are alive. Today, take some time and thank God because everything begins with life. And that is why the Lord Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew told his disciples, don't worry about food. Don't worry about what you're to wear because life is more precious than all the other things. So maybe you may not have taken time to thank God for the gift of life, the life that he has given you, that your breathing today is a miracle. Before even you ask him for many other things, today we want to take time and thank him for the gift of life. He has not just given us his breath, 
But just like we had in the word of God, he has given us everything that we have needed. He has given us everything for food. He has given the animals. He has given us everything, not only to eat, but to be masters and rulers of everything. And that is why in the Psalms, Psalm 8, the Lord says that God has created man a little less than a God. In other words, we are almost like gods. And maybe you have been despising yourself. Maybe there are things that you'd like to reach at. Maybe there are things that you'd like to achieve. And you're wondering how to do that. The Lord already told you that you're to be a master. As long as you have life, as long as you wake up and you're able to move your hands and you're able to move your mouth and you're able to move, it doesn't matter what you're going through right now. Maybe you're sick and maybe you're in bed, but the fact that you still have breath is a big reason, is a reason enough for you to praise God, for you to thank God, for you to open your heart in gratitude to the living God. He has given you all the wisdom that you need. The things that you're marveling at, the things that you're able to see, all the little things you have been able to achieve actually are nothing compared to the capacity that God put in you. And remember in the Old Testament, when God was sending Moses to Pharaoh, and Moses was scared, he asked himself, me, the way I am, a poor shepherd, how do I go and approach Pharaoh? This great king, a king who is in charge of the whole big empire that gives orders and everyone obeys. Will I even survive confronting this mighty power? And what did God tell Moses? God said, in other words, he was saying, as long as you have life, God told Moses, Moses, do not fear fellow, because I have made you a God before fellow. I have made you a God. And my brother, my sister, God has given you that too. That's why he says, let's make man in our image, in our own likeness, that he may be like us. Maybe you're crying over so many things. Maybe you're comparing yourself with so many people. Maybe when you look at yourself, you don't like what you see. Maybe instead of thanking God, your busy saying, I wish I would reduce on this tummy. I wish I would become smaller. I wish I would also be wiser. I would wish I would get another degree. I wish I would get a better job. But you don't know that the Lord has given you the power, that he has given you the capacity to be God. As long as you have breath, as long as you're still alive, there is so much that you can do. And so today, take some time and thank God for the gift of life. Thank him for the hair you have. Thank him for the brains you have. Thank him for the mouth that you have. Thank him for the eyes that you have, whether you can see or not. Thank him for every part of you. Thank you. Thank him for everything that he has been and he has given to you. Today, we want to thank the Lord for the gift of life. Take some time and look at your life. Look at everything God has been to you. He has shared a lot with you. And thank him for who you are. Thank him for the opportunities he has given you because you're still alive. Thank him for the chances he has given to you. Thank you for everything he has given to you that you are able to use. He has given you life and whatever it takes to keep this life. You have a reason to thank this God. And today, because we want you to join us in this prayer, we want to leave you a scripture that you're also going to pray throughout the day. Take Psalm 139. You can read the whole of it, but especially from verse 13 to 16. And you see how God really took time to create you, to knit you together in your mother's womb. When you look at yourself, you're not a mistake. You are what God wanted you to be. The color of your hair, the color of your eyes, your height, your weight, every part of you. The Lord took time to knit you together in your mother's womb. Please take some time and read that scripture, Psalm 139. If possible, the whole of it. If you want to pick out uh, the short part from verse 13 to verse 16. 
and may you take this whole day thanking God for the gift of life, whatever we have mentioned in this prayer and even what we have not mentioned. And for everything God has done to us and everything he has given to us, we want to return the glory back to him as we begin our journey of breaking the cycle of being ungrateful to God and beginning to walk on the road of being grateful to our God. Let's give him the glory as we say glory be to the Father and, and to the, the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Amen. All glory be to the Father and, and to the, the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and, and to the, the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.